Hey everybody, so uh, it's Rob. I hope that you can hear me all right. Um, just got home from work. It's Friday night. Uh, if you're checking this out on the East Coast, thank you for staying up with me because it is uh, nearly 11 o'clock on the East Coast, but uh, I just got back home. Uh, so uh, I had something I was kicking around all week this week and I wanted to take like an opportunity to uh, to kind of address it, uh, and of course the best way to do that is to shoot a video, why not? Uh, something that I can upload on uh, on YouTube later, so you guys will be able to check that out, youtube.com, just look for Robert N. Cheek, like everything else, but uh, I've been kicking around this week the idea of thankfulness and being thankful for things, um, and how easy it is to become like accustomed to the way life is, I guess. So like uh, everybody kind of knows the story of uh, what happened and me moving, um, moving west and from Maryland moving out to California and the whole nine and uh, I think that um, well if you don't know uh, you can check it out on YouTube the videos are up there all about the move and everything else so uh, check those out up there if you need to catch up but <clears throat> basically uh, what it comes down to is uh, I've been thinking lately about how um, it's so easy to get used to life like uh, I thought moving out west you know you have this idea in your head like it's going to be something miraculous and new and how oh my god everything's gonna be different uh, and um, hey Jessica how's it going uh, and uh, you just think that like life is gonna be so much different when you get to the new place um, and it's easy to fall into like a little bit of a pit when you realize that life just goes on no matter where you are. Uh, life in California, turns out, is a lot like life in Maryland. Um, now, I shouldn't say that it's exactly the same because it's definitely not the same. Um, I think overall, uh, my happiness level is way up. But uh, apparently Google wants to, uh, wants to get on my, on my broadcast as well. But um, so anyway, the, this whole idea was driven by one thought and that was every day on the way to work, uh, I drive the 101 from downtown to Hollywood. Like, first of all, I get to say I work in Hollywood, California, which is insane. And I get to work for a fantastic company. Um, I'm working at this place called Create now. Uh, and like, if you guys want to know more about what I do, sign up for the email list uh, at robertandcheek.com. I've sent out a couple of emails that have updated everybody on, on what I'm doing now and all that stuff. So you can all catch that by signing up for the email list. Uh, that's the easiest way. So uh, robertandcheek.com right on the front page. Uh, there's a sign up for the email list. But um, like, I literally drive down the 101. Uh, there's palm trees on either side of the highway. Uh, there's usually traffic, which sucks, but you know, there's traffic everywhere. Uh, but I pass the Griffith Observatory and the Hollywood sign every single day on the way to work. And I remember getting ready to move out here, like uh, for people who don't know the story, I'd never been to California before. Like my extent of being in Los Angeles had been the 12 hours that I was here in October when we flew out, checked out apartments, signed a lease, and then flew back to Maryland all on the same day, literally 12 hours. Uh, and the idea, I think, of the, the buildup of the year before of like, oh my God, like you get to see all these crazy, fantastic things and I've always dreamed of being in these places. And now it's just routine. I mean, like half of the days I don't even notice the Hollywood sign, which I mean, I know that there are people out there who will go their whole lives saying like, I want to see this thing. I want to, at some point in my life, see the Hollywood sign in real life. Uh, I want to see the Griffith Observatory. Um, I mean, I've had the chance to go out to Santa Monica and see the pier there. <clears throat> and there are people who will totally uh, want to spend their whole life uh, going and wanting to see the Santa Monica Pier. So, like, the, it's easy to take these things for granted. And I was passing by the sign earlier this week, and I was thinking, like, man, if I had ever, if I could tell Rob from a year ago that, like, hey, uh, someday you're just going to drive past the Hollywood sign every single day and it's going to be no big deal. You're not even going to care about it. Um, I don't think that Rob a year ago would have believed that. And <clears throat> it got me thinking about thankfulness and, and being thankful for the things that – the opportunities that you get. So, I mean, look, life is, life is frustrating and life is life no matter where you go. Uh, I deal with the same crap here that I dealt with at home. It's still – People, there's just a lot more of them here, clearly, uh, than there are other places. Uh, I have an office that I work at. Luckily, uh, I had the opportunity to go from an office where it was full of great people that I loved working with to another office that's full of great people that I love working with. And, I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. Uh, that's the one good thing is that hopefully you find yourself in a good situation. But bills are bills. And no matter the great dream of moving out here and starting a career screenwriting and doing all of that stuff, 
there's still a lot of work involved. You know, it's easier here than it was in Maryland. The likelihood that I, you know, uh, get discovered in Maryland is super low. So being able to go out and see, go to these mixer events and find other people who are in the industry and do all those things, that's a lot easier being here. Uh, but it's still work. And in between, there is still life. There is still crap, it's Monday, and uh, oh, I gotta get up and go to work, and oh, uh, thank God it's Friday, I can go home and relax. Like All of these things remain the same no matter where you are. So I think it's like super important to just take a minute and say, you know what, I gotta be thankful for like the little things that, that are different, the little changes that I've had in my life. I've got to say, you know, I wanted to be here for the last few years I've been thinking about coming and then for an entire year I was planning on coming here and now I'm here and I have to be thankful that I'm here <clears throat> no matter you know what difficulties there may be and you know like not to beat around the bush but like I, I walked away from a very good job um, in Maryland uh, like I had spent years uh, getting ready for that job and doing that job. I went to undergrad and then took a few years off and then went to law school and I came out to be a lawyer and I just straight walked away from all of that um, just to just to get out here. And thinking about the money that I used to make there and the time involved and whether or not that's a good trade off. Like, again, that is a pit that you will fall into and at the most desperate of times I asked myself whether I was crazy. <clears throat> to do that because to walk away from that kind of money despite the fact that it killed my personal life, it killed my writing time, it killed my soul to do that every single day, um, was that worth it to come out here and make basically minimum wage and to have like a super high standard of living and you know be working in a great office but just doing like menial work um, and luckily thus far <clears throat> it's ended up to the positive. That yes, it, it is still worth it. Um, and God, I hope that uh, next month or the month after or the month after that it doesn't end up with me being in Maryland. Uh, but I mean, in the end, it may. And I've come to like, I think that's part of this too is, <clears throat> sorry, God. I've come to accept that, that uh, life is super temporary. Uh, everything about life is super temporary. I mean, listen, driving in Maryland or driving in LA, I could get in a car accident tomorrow uh, that ends my life and that's it. Um, and you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with the fact that tomorrow it could all be over. And you have to live every day like it could be your last day. And that was part of the motivation to move out here. Part of the motiva motivation was if I was gonna die tomorrow, would I be happy about the decisions that I made? Would I be happy doing the same job again and again, day after day? No, I wouldn't. Um, and if I end up living to be 100, would I be on my deathbed saying this is a good life? And the reason I moved is because I said, I don't wanna be 100 years old and say, what if? What if I had gone? Would, it, would I have done the thing that I really wanted to do? Would I have accomplished that goal? Um, and even, I, I think it, my the overwhelming theme was, Try and fail is fine, but not to try is not acceptable. Um, and keeping that in mind um, is so very important. Uh, I mean, it, it is, it's the thing that you have to keep in the forefront. The day-to-day day, the day -to -day grind can really get you down. But uh, I think every day that, you know, if this was to end, you know, not life itself, but if I had to move back to Maryland tomorrow, uh, if I had to move back to Maryland a month from now or two months from now, uh, you know, which again, it is a possibility. Like I am on the razor thin edge of survival uh, here, just barely, you know, making ends meet. So that may be a possibility. But if that is a possibility, am I happy with, a, with the decision to come here? And yes, 100%. I would not take it back. I would not make that decision again uh, in the opposite direction and say, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll just stay and I'll keep doing this for the next 40 years. Um, because at least I can say I did it. Uh, and. You know, I had this conversation with my parents uh, a couple of weeks ago where I just said, you know, um, even if I had to come back, if I have to come back to Maryland, at this point, being here, being in this life, uh, being around these people, uh, coming back to Maryland is like, okay, so I tried and I failed, but I'm just saving up to come out here the next time. I am literally just coming home to regroup and get my life together again, and then I'm coming back out here and doing it because I cannot think of any other place I would rather be than being here and doing this. This is 100% what I would want to do. Um, and again, I, I say that to say this, that 
on those Thursday mornings when I'm driving to work, I don't think about that. I think about like, God, I want to be anywhere but this job. I want to be a like, man. They don't pay me enough, man. I, you know, I hate doing this menial stuff. I hate all of this stuff, but there is something so important in keeping the, the bigger picture in mind that, you know, I could still be doing something that I like loathed every single day and, you know, wondering what if, and at least now I don't have that. Uh, and I have a lot of opportunity here. Um, and you know, there's, there's something that, that I need to find the thankfulness in every single day. I need to train myself to look over at the Hollywood sign every day and say, there are people who will never see this. There are people who want their entire lives to just see this. I get to see it every single day and I'm lucky and I should be thankful for that. And you know, there are people who right now are working jobs that they hate they're going into things every single day and they want to be doing anything else. But I have taken the opportunity to come out here and try something new uh, and I need to be thankful for that. So I guess like the overarching theme is to remember to be thankful. Uh, you know, you can never, you can never get lost in the, the minutia of day to day. Yes, life is going to be the same no matter what you do, no matter where you do it. Uh, you know, I, the easy lesson is that uh, you know, my boss who started the company is far doing far better than I am now and is in fact doing far better than I was doing back in Maryland. But he still has day to day struggles, day to day things he has to worry about. And I can see it weighing on him. So money doesn't fix it. You know, being uh, you know, more famous doesn't fix it. Nothing fixes those day to day. Those problems remain. So being thankful about the decisions that you've made and the situations that you're in, that's all you really have. Uh, so find those little things. And you know, this is my story, this is my you know, struggle. So when I say driving past a Hollywood sign and, and thinking that or standing out on Coanga and Sunset and being like, man, like I'm one block from Hollywood Boulevard. I am like in the center of everything I've ever wanted to do. Like keeping that in mind is being thankful. And thinking about everybody who didn't have the opportunity to do that, who hasn't taken that opportunity. That's me being thankful, but everybody has a chance to do that every single day in their lives. I mean, like, I can think now about people from my graduating class, uh, people from my middle school class, people from my kindergarten class who have died now and they're not alive to be able to enjoy life, who have gone into drugs, who've gone into crime, who've made bad decisions in their life that have negatively impacted themselves. All of those things are reasons to be thankful no matter where you are in life, that no matter what bad decisions you have made, own them. You know, maybe this was a horrible decision and I should have waited another year or another two years to do it. But I own that the decision I made is today. I made that decision and this is where I am and I need to just uh, deal with it. So, you know, it's uh, like I said, it's Friday. It's about eight o'clock here, local. St sun is still shining out the uh, windows there. So uh, I am going to go and relax a little bit and then start and enjoy my weekend. I hope that everybody there uh, on the East Coast especially is doing that as well. It's a little bit later there. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I hope you just, just take a minute this weekend or next week or the week after or a month from now and say, uh, you know, I hope that this message resonates enough that you say to yourself, you know, you know what? I'm going to let myself get out of the minutia of the day. Yeah, bills suck. Uh, bills really suck. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose my apartment. I have to go to work. I have to do all those things. Yeah. It, that's 100% true. You have to do all those things. But uh, remember that there are things to be thankful for. You know, uh, your kids, your uh, roof over your head. Some of the simple things up into the to the point of that you are doing something that is building something. And uh, if you are not working every single day towards a goal, then the only person you can blame uh, is yourself to that. And um, so make sure that you're doing that as well. But uh, thank you everybody for checking this out. I just wanted to like kind of get that out there and get that off my chest, something I've been thinking about. So. Um, I'm going to try and stay in the positive mindset of being thankful uh, even when uh, the doldrums try to get you down and I, I hope that you guys do as well. But enjoy the rest of your weekends. Um, like I said uh, at the opening, if you want to know more about what I've been doing since uh, – about the trip out here and what I've been doing since I got here with the new job and all that stuff, you can sign up for the email list, robertandcheek.com. It's right on the uh, front page there. Just put in your email uh, and you'll sign you up automatically so you'll get automatic emails from me. Uh, updating you with everything that's going on. Uh, so uh, robertandcheek.com for that. This video
video and all the other videos will be up at youtube.com. You can check that out. Just search for Robert and Cheek. You'll find me there. Uh, as always, you can find me on all the social networks at Robert and uh, Cheek everywhere, uh, including Snapchat. Snapchat's back. So Robert and Cheek on Snapchat. Uh, and I'm probably going to be recording musically. So if you really want to be entertained this weekend, uh, either check out my daily, my day on Facebook Messenger, where I always post those, uh, most of them anyway, uh, or follow me on Musical.ly because I am just doing that to entertain you and entertain myself. So uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and I will catch you next time.